Hello everyone, welcome to Medigac. Today we are going to discuss about post-exposure prophylaxis of rabies Essen and Zagreb regimen. Post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, is the immediate treatment of a bite victim after rabies exposure. This prevents virus entry into the central nervous system, which results in prevention of imminent death. Post-exposure prophylaxis consists of extensive washing and local treatment of the bite wound or scratch as soon as possible after a suspected exposure, a course of potent and effective rabies vaccine that meets WHO standards, and the administration of rabies immunoglobulin, RIG, if indicated. Starting the treatment soon after an exposure to rabies virus can effectively prevent the onset of symptoms and death. Now come to extensive wound washing part. This first aid measure includes immediate and thorough flushing and washing of the wound for a minimum of 15 minutes with soap and water, detergent, povidone iodine, or other substances that remove and kill the rabies virus. Now let's start the most important part of post-exposure prophylaxis, that is vaccination. There are two types of vaccination. First one is intramuscular vaccination, here Essen and Zareb regimens are followed. And second one is intradermal vaccination or intradermal regimen. First we will learn about Essen regimen of intramuscular vaccination. Here we give five doses, done by injection 1 milliliter or 0.5 milliliters into the deltoid muscle. In children less than two years injection is given into the anterolateral aspect of thigh. Dose is given on day 0, day 3, day 7, day 14, and day 28. Now come to Zareb regimen of intramuscular vaccination. Here we give four doses. On day 0, we give two doses, day 7, and day 21. Now the last regimen that is intradermal regimen. Intradermal injection dose is 0.1 milliliters and it can be given in two sites, deltoid or thigh region. It is given on day 0, day 3, day 7, day 28. 